welcome again so in this video i'm going to demonstrate uh, the issue that many people are facing with the latest version of vc dial so over here on my virtual box i have installed the vc box 10.0.2 to demonstrate this video but this issue is happening with 11 and 12 also the issue is as you can see that the server is installed and my ip address of the server over here as you can see it's 1.30 so if i type it's nothing working as you can see the gui page is not working properly okay so let me just i'm going to log in through the ssh on that server so I think I have to remove the file from here. Okay. Change it. So let's see now. Cut. Okay. So the. Okay. So over here, as you can see, that I have logged in through that server. Okay. So over here you can see I have logged in on that server through SSH if I type the IP address is same. So now what is the issue? If I like try to check if my Apache is running or not, so I'm going to type okay, it's saying that it's failed. Okay, it's not working. So how we can fix that? to be simply uh, there is a glitch so this is happening because of the bugs okay with the latest updates that are coming so to fix it we are going to type nano etc patch 2 dynamicportal.conf so you are going to visit this path etc apache 2 we used then dynamicportal.conf okay then hit enter if you scroll down okay you will find something like this this particular line so you have to delete this this is the thing which is causing the issue so I'm going to remove it and then I'm going to press ctrl X to save it and then yes then okay to do that type Y and then enter this is done now we are going to do the same to the dynamic portal ssl.conf this file so press enter button again okay and delete this line from here and then again press ctrl plus x and then y to yes and then enter to save now it's done now i'm going to type restart and let me see if it is working or not okay now it's working fine so as you can see i can simply now log in okay this is the default password 66661234 so i can simply log in now so that was the issue actually so if you make the changes on those files, it will be perfectly fixed.